One more question, and that is, are you ready for a hilarious, fantastic showtime tonight? You have come to the right spot. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome to the stage, coming to us from the big city of Benton, Louisiana, it's David Morgan and Chucky! So the party animals are first seating are here, right? Cool. How many of you party animals are from Louisiana? Yeah, we don't get out much now, man. No, we don't. I wasn't sure what to wear for you tonight. I know this is not formal night, but does this look okay? Look all right? Thank you very much. Let me show you what completes formal wear for a good old boy from North Louisiana. People are always asking me when they find out I was from Louisiana, did they, was I involved with the hurricane last year? No, thank goodness, but God bless those folks on the Gulf Coast. It's going to be a long time before they get back to normal. I was involved with the flash flood when I was about six or seven years old. Water got so deep one day we had to climb up on top of our house in order to be rescued. While we were sitting up there waiting for somebody to come get us, I looked down in the water and I noticed a hat floating downstream. All of a sudden the hat stopped, floated back upstream. Then it stopped again and floated back downstream. I said, Mom, would you look at that hat? She said, I oh, don't worry about that. That's your grandpa. He said, come hell or high water, he was cutting the grass today. So, <laughs> small town in North Louisiana. We're just north of Shreveport, Bossier, a couple miles. Uh, in fact, there are probably more people in this room than live in my hometown. In fact, there's more, probably more horses than we have people. But I'll tell you, high school is so small, they, teach, they only teach sex education on Tuesdays and Thursdays because the rest of the week, driver's ed needs the car. <laughs> Like I said, uh, more horses there than people. Last time I was there, I got to go to a uh, horse auction with a friend of mine. About halfway through the auction, another buddy comes running up and says, Hey, man, have one of these. He put a blue pill in my hand. I said, What is that, man? He said, It's Viagra. Well, I held it in my hand so long that it melted, and I wound up buying four horses because I couldn't put my arm down. <laughs> You know, they say now, if you take that stuff, uh, that you could have vision loss. Turns out mom and dad were right. You will go blind. <laughs> you all sound like you're in a good mood. Have you had plenty to eat while you were here? Yeah, get a bit of that wind jammer. Have those uh, plates that look like trays. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I like that. See, that's my thing about coming out here and working on the cruise ships. I get to eat a lot of food. And, was gaining some weight, but I was home in Louisiana about six or seven months ago watching one of these late night infomercials for one of these stomach exercises, you know what I'm talking about? Well, that'll help me. So I bought one, and when it came to my house, it came in a box that said, some assembly required. Well, I put that dude together backwards and look. <laughs> That is so sad. I did start my exercise program this cruise, though. Swam three laps in the jacuzzi. <laughs> now, I was going to climb that rock wall. But there's no food up there. I'm not going to. <laughs> but speaking of bellies, my mother, 87 years old. 87 years old. She just got her belly button pierced because she's tired of losing her keys. <laughs> yeah, she tried that nipple ring thing but kept stepping on the keys. That didn't work very well. <laughs> That's what they want. Let me tell you why I tell that joke. My mother kind of wrote that joke for me not too long ago. She was talking to me one day and she said, you know, honey, when I was a young girl in high school, college, she said, everything was so firm up here. She said, I could take a colored crayon, put it right up under my booby right there, let go of it and fall right to the floor. The 
crayon. She said, now at 87, I can hold the whole box of 64. I went, oh! But you see where I got my sense of humor. So that works out. Well, I knew this was going to be a fun group because I've been watching y'all all cruise. You've been here over a week now. Have you had a great time? Yeah. Isn't it nice? Enjoyed the entertainment? I've enjoyed the entertainment. It's been great out here this week. And uh, I tell you, I knew we were going to have a fun time with this group because on the first night of the cruise, I saw one little lady walking down the hallway that let me know y'all had good attitudes. You're ready to have a good time. It was just by the t-shirt this little lady was wearing. She was about this tall, about this big around her t-shirt, said, I'm fat and you're ugly, but I can lose weight. <laughs> Good attitude with her. Well, since y'all were kind enough to come to the show tonight, we're going to give you a chance to win some valuable, valuable prizes during our show. Then you can just feel the energy going up, can't you? What we're going to do, we're going to pass out these envelopes. Now, inside the envelope is a piece of paper with a number on it. A couple of minutes from now, we'll call out a lucky number. If you have that number, you win. It's that easy. Now, I won't have enough for everybody, but I'll have enough for some. So if you want to get involved, just let me know. Now, I'll ask my friend Jake to give me some house lights so I don't step on anybody's feet when I'm running around out there. Thank you very much. And Lugo, how about some nice, easy music to pass the envelopes out? With? These guys are great. <laughs> up in just a second and have some fun with that. But what I want to do right now, oh, i got to tell you another story. I was recently on a ship that went to Hawaii, and a very funny thing happened on the first night of the cruise. The cruise director was talking with a gentleman down the front row who had been married for 50 years. And he asked him, he said, what's the secret of 50 years of marriage? The guy gave a great answer. He said, well, it's like this. On my 25th anniversary, I took my wife to Hawaii. And on my 50th, I'm coming back to get her. <laughs> well, what I want to do now is introduce you to a little friend of mine that lives in this black bag. But before I bring him out, I've got to tell you this. I am not, now repeat this now, I am not a ventriloquist. I'm just a goofy guy from Louisiana with a puppet. His name is Chucky. I have no idea what's on his mind. So let's just get him out and see. So... Come on out, my friend. These little party animals are first seating. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me tell you about a little phenomenon that always happens on the grandeur of the sea. It seems like the more first seating cuts up and goes wild with the wacko from Louisiana the night we leave Port Canal, the better the weather is on the way back to Baltimore. <laughs> So these are the party animals of first seating. <laughs> All right, my friend, come on out here. We're going to have so much fun with these folks. Come on out here. Say hello. Oh, wow. Look at all the people out here. It's good, it's good, it's good. How you feel tonight? Well, I feel good, man. I feel good. Oh, you do? Yeah, I feel real good. Have you been drinking? Like me. <laughs> well, I feel better because I did I get yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, boy, yesterday was blah, 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 blah. What's the matter with yesterday? Oh, man.
Were you on the ship? Yeah, I was on the ship. Where the ship was going. What is that? <laughs> These folks are in here to have a good time with the show. Let's have a good show with them. They'll make you feel much better, okay? Show? Yeah. What show? So we're doing it now. No, our show is tomorrow. No, our show is right now. No, our show is tomorrow. How long have you been drinking? Show's right now. Well, my show is back and back and back and all get people who didn't tell me to do it in show. Stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't go. Show me in the show. What's the big deal? Just do the show. Well, I'm not ready, man. I'm not ready. What do you mean you're not ready? I'm not ready. 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 What's it going to take you to get ready? I need to loosen up. Well, loosen up. Oh, I know. I'm getting wild. 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 If you want to loosen up, do some exercises.
Put your feet right here. Yeah. Well, I gotta put them somewhere. Yeah, but why, why, why? <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Look, let's just move along and we'll discuss it later. Oh, no, we won't. We'll talk about it right now. <laughs> what do you want to talk about right now? My feet. <laughs> well, what about your feet? I want them out. <laughs> You just can't let them dangle throughout the show. Oh, yes, I can. No, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. Watch. <laughs> Look, just leave the feet alone. Jumping on me. Well, it's because you embarrass me every time I come out here. Wait a minute. I embarrass you? That's right. How? Hello! <laughs> but you know what else? You know what else? Every time I cook. Every time I cook. You move your mouth. <laughs> I've already told him tonight that I'm not a ventriloquist. We don't have to discuss that tonight. Yeah, but you're not supposed to move your mouth. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, Smarty, but the reason I move my mouth is because I don't use my vocal cords. I force air between my cheek and my tongue and the buckle muscles in my jaw contract, make a vibrating noise, and that's how your voice is made. It's called buckle speech. So what do you think about that? I can take a bunch of bull. I can I can. Yeah, I can a bunch of bull. You know what? I don't move my mouth when he talks. Why? So you don't move your mouth when I talk. So what does that mean? That means I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> and, what is, and what does that make me? A big dummy. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Ventriloquist, this could be your lucky night. Wow, he gonna find me a woman? No, no, no. But I just finished reading a book on hypnotism. I bet I could hypnotize you right here in front of all these folks, put a positive suggestion in your mind about that buckle speech, and it would never bother you again. Oh, boy. No, I'm serious. Look, this came with the book I was reading. This is a solid gold duck hypnotizing pig. What? Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be stupid. This is going to be stupid. Can you believe this? I'll just whack the horse up here trying to hypnotize a puppet. <laughs> and then if I can ask you to go to the bathroom, this will be a good time to go. <laughs> Watch the horse come out here for all you do. Who do you kill me with your show? Put my feet out for your pants and now you'll swing your pig in front of my face. I just can't believe you're doing all this stupid stuff. Just stop talking and let me do it. If I stop talking, you'll be looking for a real job. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got a point. Huh? Just watch the pig. I want to watch a pig. This pig. <laughs> okay, as you concentrate on the pig, you'll begin to get very sleepy. You'll drift deeper. Deeper. To sleep. Hurry up! <laughs> Are you getting sleepy? Go and get sick! Just once, just once, would you come out here and cooperate with me? Oh, well, I'm too late. This is stupid, stupid, stupid. Come on, people. And by now, you should be so sleepy, you can no longer hold your head up. You can no longer hold your head up. I'm not going to get up. You are. Okay, you got a point. You can no longer hold your head up. And to prove to you now that he's completely hypnotized and under my little trance, and only hears my voice. Bless this pretty lady here when I point at you, dear, to say hello, Chucky, in a nice, loud voice, okay? Because he can only hear my voice. You got that, pal? You can only hear my voice. Sicko. <laughs> But he feels no pain whatsoever. And to prove that, we'll take this needle. But you don't do it, needle. I'm going to prove to these folks you don't feel any pain. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You won't feel a thing. Well, I better not. I promise you won't feel a thing. Well, I better not. You remember where my feet are. <laughs> no. Yeah, I hurt you real bad, big boy. <laughs> I got you whole world. Yeah, right. No pain whatsoever. You have insurance? And to further emphasize that he feels no pain, we'll shove the... Did you feel that? Yes, I felt it. I told you this was stupid, stupid, stupid. Now break that little back like that. Break that little back like that. I can't believe you feel... I can't believe you made me out here for all these people made me do something so stupid, stupid, stupid. Every time I get out here, you embarrass me in front of all these people. I don't know what I'm going to do. What's the matter? I think I got the hiccups. <laughs> got so excited. I got the hiccups. Well, hold your breath. Hold your breath. <laughs> and hold it long enough, man. Let me help you here. with your hiccups. You tried to kill me. Did you see that? He tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm trying to help you with your hiccups. Have you got the hiccups anymore? No. See, it worked. Well, now I got them. Well, hold your breath. What's the matter? Just got that guy's burger! Hey, man! What? I need a drink! You need a 
a drink? Yeah. Well, you want me to get you a Coke from the bar? No, man, I want some booze, man. I want some booze. <laughs> we want a fuzzy navel? No, I only got one. <laughs> Listen, what is that one right there? What is that? The drink of the day? <coughs> it's got booze? Yeah. Can we borrow some of that drink? Can we borrow some of that drink? I got a little straw right here. It's got booze. It's got booze? Huh? Well, that was your hooker. I got your booze. I got your booze. I got your booze. I'll be right back. y'all really be impressed if the level on this drink went down. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> How you feel now? I feel good. Are you going to be okay? I don't know. Man. What's the problem? No problem. I'm looking up <laughs> Give our friend a nice hand for trusting us with their drink and open your envelopes, folks. Open your envelopes. <coughs> you like odd numbers or even numbers? Well, check them up odd. odd, okay. An odd number, just stand up wherever you are. We will see who has one. Where's our winners? Oh, you here on the front row, my buddy on the front row. Where? Back over there. Back over there. Well, you got to come up here to get your prize. So give them a nice hand, folks. stairs right there if you want to that would be good that would be good oh, a little one here look at you stand right here if you will that would be good man won't you come stand next to this woman here and then man you stand right here next to her and so we'll get you to stand right there I tell you you come stand right here in front of that right here that would be good now you folks that didn't win will be excited to you know that what these three pretty ladies and two good looking guys have won is the opportunity to with Chucky. <laughs> so what song would you like to sing? Uh, old MacDonald. Old MacDonald. So y'all sung Old MacDonald lately? No, I thought it'd be good. So on this end, what do you do all the E-I-E-I-O's? How's that? Shout out. Here. Here. We'll get 
give you these. Okay. 